I think I've talked about this before, but a little trick that we do to ensure that the van's extra safe and there's no gas going through the line is even when it's ready to turn off, we shut it off from the propane tank. So just to drain the line fully. So now that that's gone out, we'll shut off it from this valve. Just a little extra precaution. Better safe than sorry. I think it might look like we're on some kind of liquid diet. Mm -hmm. uh, this is what we have most mornings. A plus smoothie and a hot tea. Wouldn't be a good morning without it. Why not? I don't know, we just miss the smoothies when we don't have them, it's weird. Yeah, they're really good. Hey, come on, chug, 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 we gotta go. Qualified for dripping on the floor. Oh, yeah. shit. Let's fire up the jet. <laughs> a lot of interest in uh, van life in the city. A lot of people have been messaging us saying, hey, what's it like to live in a van? So this weekend, we're going to uh, bring you guys along for the ride and show you what it's like to van it up in the city. We'll show you kind of where we park. Uh, some of our favorite spots. Oh snap, there goes oh, a the coffee. snap, I gotta change lanes here. Oh snap. What it's like to change lanes in Toronto. <laughs> we just stopped at one of our local coffee shops. Uh, it's called the Christie sipping on a soy latte. And Eamon was trying a station cold brew coffee. It's like really quite nice Shout outside. Out to station cold brew. So this is Trinity Bellwoods Park. It's probably one of the more popular uh, places to hang out, at least in the west end of Toronto. And we're gonna be meeting my sister and JT. Oh, I've always wanted one of those things. I think Pretty we need bad. one for the van. Yeah. Oh, did we find a parking spot? Yeah, dude. Yes. Nailed it, dude. One of the, I think, best things about our van is, one well- of the best features of our van. Well, while it's like one of the smaller sprinters, it actually will fit in, in parking spots. Do you need me to get out and help nah, you? No, I'm crazy. Oh, sick. About to make dinner and then we decided oh let's go to fresh because you gotta maximize the time that you're in a city so we're headed to fresh i think i'm gonna try soup or oh, soup. <laughs> maybe a burger this is where we were this is how far we made it to the grocery store we were like mm, let's go to fresh instead which is just up here i thought you said you were getting the mushroom burger oh i did like mushroom burger <laughs> <laughs> Classic Toronto situation. We're just heading back to JT and Mel's place. We're gonna drop them off. Bye. Bye. Love you guys. We've established some spots in Toronto where we can sleep no problem. One of them being our office, but also some little side streets that allow you to park overnight. And the key to being able to stealth camp in any city, I believe, is just making sure that you're ready for bed when you get to a spot. So we've already had dinner and we'll make sure that the lights are off, that we've kind of got the blinds closed and we'll just pull up to a street and sleep. And then before we really get up in the morning and start like making a lot of ruckus, we might move um, and just like kind of do it a little bit more stealth. And I think that's the key. Fellow camper, wonder if you're in there. It's another one. Are you in there? We just stopped at the local Tim Hortons, which is like a coffee chain here in Canada, and uh, used the facilities. We like this spot, is it's just, it's a normal residential street, but on the one side, the side that has the side door, um, is just a church, so, Typically, you're not gonna get bothered. No one's gonna be in there. The other side is kind of a, a normal residential street with a bunch of houses, but that's the side where there's no windows. So Beck's just closing that off. And... Where's the side thing? That will block the light from the front. And then we've also got this one. 
And that one blocks off that window. So now I'll go outside and show you kind of what we look like with the lights are on. We've got that same kind of curtain design on the back here. Very, very stealth. Now that we're all parked and settled in, you can do whatever you want. Brush your teeth, have a little laptop club. It's kind of ridiculous. I'm working on a movie right now. I've got footage on two different hard drives, so I have to have them both plugged in, which is super annoying. I have to wipe Buddy's feet down because he's literally so filthy. Otherwise, I'm not allowed in the bed. No, you're not. Like, that's just a little bit. Some days are so much worse, aren't they, Buddy? Yeah. Especially at sandy beaches. Oh. That's so... Nasty, buddy. I hate when you treat me like that.